Okay, in this video we're just going to discuss the video compression formats that the Panasonic GH6 uses. And this is kind of a question that I've been asked a few times by people, you know, am I shooting H.264, am I shooting H.265? Um, and basically, you know, the kind of answer to this is you, you're probably shooting a mixture of both, but the camera makes that decision on your behalf. You don't pick which one you're using. So. For those that don't know, you've got um, H.264, which is otherwise known as AVC, which just stands for Advanced Video Coding. And then you've got H.265, which is also known as HEVC, which is High Efficiency Video Coding. And basically, um, HEVC or H.265 is the newer uh, kind of um, compression format than H.264, which makes sense, you know, it's one above. So um, the, the kind of distinction between the two is, is quite minimal, to be honest, in terms of um, what you'll notice from it. But basically, H.265 is the, it offers kind of better compression in the image quality, especially at kind of lower bit rates. But the, the struggle is that it comes at kind of slower encoding times. So for those higher bit rates, more often than not, the camera is going to kind of fall back to um, H.264 because the H.265 is offering a lot more kind of compression there. And H.265 is, is a really good option for um, things like video streaming because it offers really good compression to quality ratio. So the, in in general, what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of just, just run through it and um, we can kind of see. So you can see here, it, it says C in brackets, that refers to this row. So in general, it's not a, not a perfect rule, but in general, if you're shooting 422, you'll be shooting H.264. And if you're shooting 420, you'll be shooting H.265. Um, I've done a video about the difference between those. I'll, I'll link that up in the corner. But um, yeah, basically what we'll do is we'll just run through and like I say, um, column C here, we're just in the GH6 operating instructions. Uh, we're in the rec quality section. And then we can kind of come down and you can see here, like I say, you've got um, H.265 is being used here for um, in the, we're in the MP4 options here, which to be honest, I don't use, but they're there. You know, if you if you do use them, there's sort of a mix of eight and ten bit modes in this. Um, and you can see here we've got a mixture of um, H.265 and uh, H.264. So we've got the, um, the we've got those differences there. And then to be honest, if we come down, like I say, if, I wouldn't base any of your shooting options on this. You know, just use the ones that are kind of best for you don't um don't kind of base it on this but you can kind of see here you've got um in in this in this column we've basically b is the bit rate so um you can see because these are higher bit rates we've got h264 um higher bit rate again there h264 but like i say it's not a kind of hard and fast rule because you you do have h264 for some of the some of the lower bit rates there and uh, as I say, it's it's not something to to kind of worry about really. Um, we've got the differences here between S NTSC and PAL as well. Um, I'll link to a video on that about system frequencies. But essentially, you know, these these are more or less the same things, just slightly slightly different. And then under MOV, we've got um, you can see here again, it's got the same same kind of key to it. But you can see a lot of the, the video options that we've got, a lot of our kind of um, long op 420 options, they're all being done in H.265. And then when we get to the slightly higher ones, the H and the L, the L is usually above 600 megabits a second, H is usually above 800. You can see these are all just being done in H.264. And as I say, this is kind of, you know, that's, that's sort of the way it works through it. G generally, 422 all intra it is going to be shooting in H.264. So that's that's sort of the um, sort of the way it is. And uh, as I say, you, you can use this if you really <laughs> you've got a preference. You can use this, but you know I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I mean, generally the all intra video is is slightly less compressed. The bigger files they're going to 
you know for me i it, whenever i can if i've got space to do it i'll always shoot in all intra um and that's not to say that you know 420 long gop is is bad it's it's not at all but if i'm really looking to get the best quality out of the camera that's what i'll be doing and that's generally going to be in this sort of h264 option um and again this is kind of uh pal so you know pretty much the same again in the um the cinema options if anybody uses them again majority h265 we've got a few um a few that are kind of um h264 kind of dotted around in there again that they're, they're mostly um mostly all intra options and then once you get to ProRes, obviously it doesn't make any difference anymore because it's not using that that compression. So you know the, this is a whole different thing. So um, yeah, that that's kind of it really. Like I say, <laughs> just use this as a, a little bit of a, a kind of guide to explain it to you. You know, this is always your reference if you really are wanting to know what you're shooting in. But as I say, the camera is is really deciding that on your behalf. So you don't really have anything to worry about there. But yeah, hopefully this video has helped. If it has, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then uh, please subscribe.